Hello cool kids, it's me Zezri. I'm back again with another video. I have some sad news for you guys because I have exams next week so this will be the last thing I upload for the time being. Education is important kids and I take my studies very seriously even though I am a YouTuber. So while I'm gone, you can binge watch my older videos. Anyways, today I'm gonna be talking about this new show which has been trending all over TikTok and Twitter recently and it's called Johnny Depp vs Amber Heard. Who's the real abuser? As I'm filming this video, I'm on the 20 second episode and I'm finding it really entertaining so far. It includes my favorite two actors, Johnny Depp and Amber Heard. And it's kind of like a drama about the main character Johnny who was an angel sweetheart boy who got abused by this evil witch named Amber. The witch then told the whole kingdom that Johnny was actually the abuser and everyone believed her because Amber is a woman and all women are witches who lie about getting abused. And Johnny is a man so he was exiled from the kingdom because men never get believed. But a few moons later, Johnny returned with his team of fairies who had evidence that Johnny was actually the one being mistreated by the witch. So Johnny and his fairies stormed into the kingdom to fight against the evil witch. Oh, hopefully in the season finale, Johnny and his fairies managed to defeat her. Okay, I'm just kidding. This video has nothing to do with this fantasy series that I've just made up. This video has nothing to do with any show or form of entertainment. So get that drilled into your head. This video is about the defamation trial that is currently being being held between the divorced celebrity couple Johnny Depp and Amber Heard. To those of you who have been sitting on a dirty carpet this past month and haven't been paying attention to the internet, I'm gonna fill you in on what the hell I'm even gonna be talking about. So basically, Johnny Depp is suing Amber Heard, his ex-wife, for $50 million for defamation because of the op-ed that was published back in 2018 where she claimed that Johnny Depp had abused her. Johnny is making the argument that what was written in the op-ed isn't true and that the op-ed has severely damaged his career so that's why he's demanding $50 million from Amber Heard. Amber Heard, in response to this, is countersuing him for $100 million because she insists that everything written in the op-ed is true. So for the past 20-something days, Amber Heard and Johnny Depp have been attending court in order to prove their side in innocence and hopefully get the money that they demand. Their trials have been very publicized and I'm sure you have already seen thousands of clips from the trials posted all over social media. Currently, 99% of the population is on Johnny Depp's side because the majority of people keeping up with the trials believe that Amber Heard had lied in her op-ed and that she only made those claims to defame Johnny and win the public's support and approval following the divorce. Johnny's side has also brought up the narrative that Amber Heard was actually the abuser in a relationship, bringing up audio proof of Amber Heard admitting to having hit him. But you're fine. I did not hurt you. I did not punch you. I was hitting you. And picture proof of Johnny Depp's finger being cut off allegedly by Amber Heard throwing a glass bottle at him. This evidence coupled with the fact that Amber Heard's own testaments seem unreliable because of the constant contradicting statements her and her team make. Everyone on the internet came to the conclusion that Johnny good, Amber bad, including me. So now that you're updated, you may be wondering why I decided to title my video in such a strange way and if my mental state was in the right place while I was filming the intro for this video? The answer is no, but I do have an explanation as to why I titled and introduced this video in such a way, so let me explain myself. The main subject that I will be discussing today isn't the actual trial. Frankly, I do not have time to sit through a hundred hours of trial footage, especially not when I have exams coming up. You know, I think there are much better ways for me to use my time. So no, I'm not going to be talking about how Amber Heard hooped on Johnny Depp's bed or whether or not Amber or Johnny are innocent or whatever dumb things go on in that courtroom. I was just sitting there on this on, on this carpet, looking at the dirty carpet, wondering how I wound up on this carpet and why I was never why I never noticed that the carpet was so filthy before. If I'm being honest, I couldn't care less about the private affairs of a celebrity couple. I'm not a middle-aged American. Sorry to any middle-aged Americans out there. What I'm gonna be discussing is the honestly disgusting way that we as a society react to something like this. The way in which we as a society cannot take domestic violence seriously. And I think that this whole trial and this whole situation is a perfect example of that. For some context, Amber Heard's op-ed in which she came out as being a victim of domestic violence was published around the time of the hashtag MeToo movement. This movement followed the serious assault allegations that came out against Harvey Weinstein and it was a way to empower a woman who had faced sexual assault or abuse. By making posts with the hashtag MeToo or putting MeToo in their bio, many women all over the world were no longer scared to come out as victims of 
sexual abuse. This of course doesn't mean that men don't suffer from sexual abuse, but at the time, it was women who were finally getting the empowerment they needed to admit that they had a sexual assault and fight against it. Because on average, women face higher rates of sexual abuse than men. That's a statistical fact and it's not worth arguing about. So, if you only bring up the issues of men, if you only bring up men getting abused and sexually assaulted when people are talking about women getting abused and sexually assaulted, you do not actually care about men getting abused, you only care about undermining the abuse and sexual assault of women. Anyways, didn't mean to get so political. During this time, Amber Heard published this op-ed and so obviously the majority had sided with her because the images that she provided of her bruised face was enough proof for everyone to believe her and start feeling negatively towards Depp. So Johnny, as a result of this, lost many of his movie roles and his reputation quite obviously suffered along with anyone who was positively associated with him. Amber, however, was praised for her bravery because people did truly believe that she was a victim of assault. Over time, however, evidence started coming out which painted Amber as the abuser in this very messy relationship and Johnny as the victim. So people started to side with Johnny over Amber. Johnny himself always claimed he was innocent and he even tried suing the son back in 2020 for the article they published calling him a wife beater. But curiously, he lost it because the court concluded that Amber Heard's statements were true. If you were to ask me, just from watching some parts of the trial, it really does seem like many of the things that Amber Heard had claimed were untrue and they've been proven untrue many times and the evidence that has been presented currently really paints Amber in an abusive light. In the case that Amber was the abuser in this relationship, I understand that we should be showing Johnny Depp our support as we would with any victim of domestic violence. That being said, what the majority of Dan Twitter and TikTok are doing right now is not actually showing support for Johnny Depp but rather showing worship to Johnny Depp and forming a massive witch hunt against Amber Heard, essentially treating this very serious defamation trial as a spectator sport. Now look, I do understand that Amber and Johnny are celebrities who have fans, who therefore have people who are interested in their affairs. And as I said, the trial is very public, so I'm not saying it's morally wrong to seek entertainment from these trials, because of course you would. Trials can be very entertaining. That's why people like watching Judge Judy or whatever. I understand it's funny to watch Amber Heard's team Bale so miserably in defending her. Do you recall? I'm trying. I'm trying. Um, what, if anything, did the medical records reflect about your nose? Objection, Your Honor, hearsay. And it's satisfying to watch Johnny's lawyer tear into Amber Heard. Mr. Depp mentions Aquaman, doesn't he? Yes, he does. Mr. Depp got you that role in Aquaman, didn't he? Excuse me? Mr. Depp got you that role in Aquaman, didn't he? And it's hilarious to hear about how Amber's dog stepped on a bee. My dog stepped on a bee? Even when these funny trial compilations exist and you are allowed to enjoy them, I urge you to remember the actual severity of the trial. It is an amemable TV show, guys. It's an in-depth look at a couple who have a history of abuse. There are serious accusations from both sides. Amber is literally accusing Depp of raping her, and all you care to do is meme her tears. It doesn't matter if what she's saying is a lie or not. The accusations themselves hold a lot of weight, and it's just not appropriate to joke about or laugh at. If allegations aren't something to be taken lightly, none of what has been said is a light matter. Johnny accused Amber of literally severing his finger and people are making memes from that very traumatizing situation. It's just not funny, it's serious. <laughs> No, no, but it's not funny. At the end of the day, is it? It's serious. We should no, but it's actually not funny though. Like, it's actually serious. You guys wholeheartedly believe that this person is a manipulative, lying abuser who attempted to ruin someone's career after abusing them for years, and your response to this is to cosplay her to make fun of her. If she is an abuser, why are you cosplaying her? She isn't a villain from a movie. She's an actual person, and if she really is an abuser, do you actually think you were showing support for Johnny Depp? by cosplaying her. So yeah, as I was telling you, when I was a child, a cat attacked me and left scars all over my body. I was so traumatized by that experience. Oh my god, that sucks. Wait, I know how to make you feel better. Dude, what the hell? 
Why are you dressed as a cat? I'm showing you my support. I will dress up as the cat that traumatized you. Meow. <laughs> no. You don't like it? Okay, fine. I'll show you support in another way. <laughs> Look, I'm dressed up as you. This is not showing support. Leave. You're always being so over dramatic. Okay, fine. I'll go. Give me my stuff back! By the way, the last part of that skit where my friend dresses up as me is referencing this TikTok here. I don't want to be a party pooper, but really, it's not all fun and games. I mean, people are literally lining up, camping outside the courts where the trial is held to root for Johnny as if it's a spectator sport. It's a defamation trial. How goddamn embarrassing is that? People are literally coming with their families and bringing pizza to watch a couple accuse each other of serious domestic violence? Is this stuff normal in America? Like, do you guys just go watch trials for fun? Anyways, another thing I do not like about this whole ordeal is the way in which people have turned this situation into a gender war or a political conversation. As I said, Amber Heard came out with the allegations during the hashtag MeToo movement. And guess what hashtag is trending now? Hashtag me poo. Yes. Hashtag me poo. This hashtag completely undermines the importance of the Me Too movement. It's pure and utter disrespect to all the women who have came out to be victims of sexual violence. And now people are trying to turn this situation into an excuse to just plainly be misogynistic towards women. I've seen people say things about how it's typical for a woman to play the victim and lie about a man for money in response to the situation. So many people are claiming that men have it so much harder than woman because men never get believed when it comes to domestic violence and I've heard the quote if the roles were reversed about a thousand times already and I just want to say that the roles are reversed they're literally reversed already Johnny reversed the narrative onto Amber Heard by giving proof that she was the abuser and everyone believes Johnny and sides with him everyone is supporting Johnny everyone is crapping on Amber Heard so to say that male victims never get believed but women do is just such an empty false statement to make because Johnny came out and said he was a victim of assault and people not only believed him but everyone is now treating him like a flawless god literally worshipping him all over social media can't we just make the statement that domestic violence is a serious issue which happens to everyone and should be taken seriously stop trying to turn this into a gender war of who has it harder men or women we shouldn't undermine anyone's struggles here or claim that women who come out claiming that they've been assaulted are all liars just because Amber Heard lied. I'm sorry, I didn't know that Amber Heard was the spokesman for all women, the representative for all women. All hail Amber Heard, the woman of all women. No, you cannot claim that women always get favored over men when it comes to domestic abuse cases. That is just simply untrue. And we as a society don't take these matters seriously enough regardless of gender. Lastly, I came across this article written by Vogue titled Why It's Time to Believe Amber Heard and I found it very interesting. Now, I do not personally believe Amber Heard and I was curious why anyone in their right mind would believe her considering how many holes have been found in the messy narrative she's trying to tell. Especially when most of the arguments against Johnny are based on the fact that he's an alcoholic drug user so that means he's most definitely a, an abusive person, right? No, it's actually really offensive to claim that anyone who uses drugs or is an alcoholic must be abusive. But anyways, let's read what this article has to say in defense of Amber. Go on social media and the anti-herd sentiment is palpable. The memes have been ferocious, sometimes consisting of spot the difference comparison with domestic abuse victims. At other times, televised courtroom footage has been appropriated to openly mock her appearance. It is plain misogyny. The company behind the makeup compact herd used to hide her bruises even made a TikTok disputing her claims. Herd is being systematically jeered at and ridiculed like a medieval criminal in the stocks as she catalogs historic abuse as she alleges rape. Have we completely lost track of the severity of these allegations? I don't want to think about what this is saying to victims of abuse who are considering coming forward. And regardless of what her did or didn't suffer at the hands of Deb, isn't the relentless memeing of her a form of violence in itself? Is the pummeling by social media not a type of psychological assault? Are we not witnessing a modern day witch trial? I spent a lot of time wondering if everyone's lost the plot. The erosion of empathy we see online has rendered us so inherently unkind as a species that there's no return. 
I don't want despair for humanity. I want to believe that some of us are offline and mildly compassionate or compassionate in a way that doesn't get tweeted about. So you're all out there being nice to each other and I'm reporting on a tiny cluster of internet users with pitchforks. Though I felt myself veering toward it, I can no longer both sides this. It's time to draw a line. It's time to believe woman, all woman. It's time to believe heard. The British courts believed Depp beat his ex-wife. What's stopping the rest of us? I don't know, maybe, you know, all the evidence that is in favor of Johnny. But moving on. The reason why I brought this article up is because it essentially brings up the main point of this video. We aren't taking this situation seriously. We are forming a witch hunt against a person over a private domestic dispute. We are undermining the severity of domestic violence and it's not okay and it isn't something that I'll stand for. I wholeheartedly believe Johnny is innocent and I'm sure he'll get the justice he deserves. But the point of this video isn't to talk about who's right or wrong. It's to express that we have to take domestic violence seriously. And on that sour note, I'm stopping my rant. I have to go study now for exams. Wish me luck. Tell me your thoughts and opinions in the comments and I'll see you guys after I finish my exams. Also, don't forget to follow my social media and Sultangali social media. Thank you. Bye.